And when you use the term a personal computer, you're deliberately avoiding the, the use of the term home computer, aren't you? Right. We, um, we view the home not really as a market yet. We view it more as a location. Uh, we sell a lot of personal computers that are used for financial analysis, for education in schools, uh, for running laboratory experiments in, you know, in universities and in, in scientific applications. And a lot of these personal computers are used in the home as a location uh, some of the time. But there's not enough specific applications to cost justify spending a thousand to three thousand dollars for a personal computer to be used in the home yet. So we don't think the home is quite yet ready uh, either culturally or economically. What type of person would need a personal computer today of the type you offer? Well, it gets back to the question of what is a personal computer again. Uh, again, another analogy. Uh, there was an article in Scientific American in the early 70s, which compared the efficiency of locomotion for various species of things on the planet. In other words, they measured how much energy it took for a bird to get from point A to point B compared with a, the energy it took a fish to get the same distance and a goat and a person and all sorts of other things. And they ranked them. And it turns out the condor won. Condor was the most efficient. And man came in with a rather unimpressive showing about a third of the way down the list. It's somewhat disappointing. But someone there had the insight to test the efficiency of man riding a bicycle. And man riding a bicycle was twice as good as the condor, all the way off the end of the list. And what it really illustrated was man's ability as a tool maker to fashion a tool that can amplify an inherent ability that he has. And that's exactly what we think we're doing. We think, we think we're basically fashioning a 21st century bicycle here.